So, for the leg press, so I call, uh, I call it the dead, dead leg leg press. So what you're doing is slow, slow negative. You're gonna let the weight right off. And you just blow it all the way through. So slow. Like right off, explode. So basically what this does is it builds up your static strength. So you're basically taking a long negative. So whenever you hear people talking about trying to build their bench, usually the first reply is start working on your, your negatives. And then taking the weight off and exploding up builds up your explosive strength. And then once you do that, try to get as many as you can, staying on the heel. The common mistakes is people aren't hanging long enough on the way down. So you're gonna take a good 10 seconds. Um, five to 10, I just took 10. Letting the weight pause at the bottom and taking your like, you're not taking your feet off, but you're just, letting the weight there and then exploding up. When you explode up, explode through the heel. Um, most common mistakes there is people explode through the toe, more so than the heel. And they take, they round their spine at the bottom. So form for the leg press still stands. Still keep yourself against that pad, keeping all the weight on your heel, bringing it nice down and slow. The only difference is when you get down to the bottom, you're letting the weight sit on the pegs, exploding up. Don't explode to full extension. That's another big no-no. You explode to still three-quarter length and flex. Um, when you go to your full length, so basically at the very end, go until your form breaks. So until you feel the load start to transfer to the toe, um, your body's trying to shift in some sort of manner, that's your telltale sign that you're done. So keep your form in mind instead of let's just pack the weight on. So this exercise is not about weight, it's about control. Um, this is something again I got from John Meadows. Killer exercise, it's gonna take the strength right out of you, but it's something that works. Um, something that I like to put in every five, six weeks as it just a reminder what intensity truly is. Um, because you gotta, you gotta focus all the way through. When you're bringing it down, you gotta focus. When you're exploding, you gotta focus. There's not a, a one point in this rep that you cannot focus on your form. So if you're having trouble with your form and leg press, try this out because you can't take your focus off because you just, you're gonna hurt yourself. So give it a try. For me, it's something that came naturally because I was a track and field guy, so I was able to press that button and, and totally defocus. Um, one thing I always told people when, was, when I played football, when I did track, the only thing that I physically heard was footsteps. I never heard people cheering, never heard the wind. I just heard footsteps. Um, can't explain it. That's just the way my, my brain focused. Um, but when it comes to outside stressors and intensity, you gotta be able to basically drown out everything. So if you need headphones, if you need a training partner to push you through, anything like that. Um, comes down to being able to uh, basically uh, desensitivify or whatever the word is. Basically navigate yourself away from all your distractions and focus on what you're doing at that particular moment. So if it's leg press, if it's bench press, if it's whatever, whatever the exercise is, you gotta be able to just focus on that one thing. I was a hard gainer when it came to quads. And the only thing that worked for me was more volume. So not thinking about rep range. Hell, when I was competing, I was doing sets of 100 on leg extension. I was doing sets of 50 and 60 on leg press with pretty heavy weight. Um, I was just going, my mindset was when I sat down in that chair, I was blocking everything out 
And I was going until my body said I couldn't go anymore. So, and that, that worked for me. I'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody. Some people work better with heavy weights, but the one thing that everyone has to stress, and I, I don't know how many times I get stressed this, form is more important than what the weight you're pushing. So, if you're focused on building your legs, hamstrings or quads, um, try a bit of both. Try heavier weights, see if that works for you. Try volume, see if that works for you. Um, when I say volume, I still need moderate to heavy. When I say heavy, then obviously you're going super heavy. Um, but you're still not thinking about rep rates. This is where, personally, I feel people kind of go astray. Because they're so focused on my programs as eight. I do eight. You get to six, not a problem. Seven, not a problem. And all of a sudden their mind shuts off at eight. You could have did three, four, five more easily. So I always think, regardless of what that weight is, I'm going until my body says no. My body starts to break. So that's the way my brain thinks. Um, when it comes to a lagging body part is I'm going and I'm going to broke. So give it a try. That's all I can do to tell you is just make sure that your form is priority number one. Doesn't matter what you put on the thing. So give it a try.